scares you a little bit. A chaotic scene for residents near 900 South State Street. There was a party going on and it just seemed that there was a, a group of young kids and it was getting a little crazy. It eventually turned into a crime scene around midnight. Zachary Wade lives nearby. A group of tenants and I heard gunshots, multiple, definitely over 10. For some reason, there may have been a fight that then broke out that then led to the shooting. According to preliminary reports, Salt Lake City Police say witnesses saw the gunshot victim, man in his 20s, and called 911. The officers saw a vehicle that was leaving the scene at a high rate of speed. The officers initiated a pursuit. They had their police cars lights on and the sirens activated and they tried to stop this vehicle. The driver lost control at this roundabout on 1100 East 900 South crashing on the curb. One man died, another man left injured, both in their early 20s. What they had to do essentially was pivot from what they were just doing in a pursuit. They then had to pivot to do a rescue uh, mission. So that's a very stressful situation. And a sad one for Wade. They're so young. Like It, it, it was just sad to see that um, just kids with guns and they were so young.